Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now, your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Zontazanio. Okay, welcome everyone to our special presentation of theCUBE at Enterprise Connect 2016. This is theCUBE on the ground. Another full cube where we go out and extract the signal from the noise. And we would not be here if it wasn't for our sponsors helping us out get here this time. Oracle ZDLRA, Zero Data Loss Appliance and Recovery Appliance. Vonage, Cafe X, thank you. Go to those companies, check them out, buy their stuff. Thank you for supporting the cube, really appreciate it. I'm John Furrier, we're here on the ground with Peter Bailey, the CEO of Vertical Communications. Great to see you, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you so much. So you guys just had an analyst event, I saw that on Twitter. Great to catch up with you here in person. Great. Saw a lot of buzz, one of the analysts, Ron, was doing a crowd chat. Really interesting view into the unified communication world, and it's very clear from the analysts that the digital transformation is upon us. It's not just you know, yeah. cloud washing, digital transformation washing, it's a real trend, and this show here at Dig, uh, Enterprise Connect is highlighting that with cloud. What's your take on digital transformation? Because it's not about voice anymore, it's no, about it's everything. Not. That's right, so we, we kind of think about beyond UC, and it's back to sort of what business is really about, and so we talk to our customers a lot about workflow, but it comes back to this macro trend of digital transformation. You know, companies across the world using whether it's mobile or cloud or internet of things to make their businesses more efficient, uh, create better customer experiences, and even create new business models. And so when we talk about our communication software platform and the tool set we provide, it's around providing tools to impact things like efficiencies and costs and customer experience. So we think this is the meat of the conversation. It's great to be past kind of the UC conversation on to what companies really want to talk about, which is digital transformation. Look at UC, the old UC conference, yeah. I'm just going to say it. It's, it was a relic, it was old, it was yeah. stuck in this yeah. tide shift between low tide, high tide, right. the, right. the tsunami, whatever you want to call it, but now it's busting out with cloud. So I want to talk about that. And first, talk about what you guys do as a product. What do you guys sell? What's your product? What's your value proposition? And then we'll talk about some of the trends. So, so we replaced the phone system with the communications platform. So we come out of the unified communications space. But really what we found is that by taking that tool set and really customizing it for vertical markets, we can go much further with customers. So with our model, we're direct. We have a direct sales force, direct service force. We've got our own technology, and we go two inches off the ground with customers to deliver value in the retail market and auto dealers and healthcare and other verticals where we can make a real difference around efficiencies, around creating better customer experiences, and that ultimately is a, is a huge value add to our customers. Is that software and hardware, or both? Uh, both, you know, obviously it's more and more it's just software, but obviously we're, you know, we have handsets in, our, in, in the mix, uh, we have appliances in the mix, um, but more and more it's software and cloud services, which you know, give people scalability uh, and the flexibility to do the things they want to do. You know, Peter, one of the things we talk about in theCUBE all the time, we're new to this space from a CUBE coverage, we've been watching it, quite frankly it's been a little bit boring, but now it's exciting. Yeah. But what's happening is, is that the digital transformation of how people are buying and inter interfacing and engaging with the data and the, and the, and the edge of the network, wearables yep. is right here, yep. retail you mentioned. Yep. These vertical stacks work, but you can't be fully vertical. Right. You got to have some horizontal, that's, right. that's where the cloud comes in. This seems to be the disruption between the people who get it and don't get it. Right. What's your take on that? Well, so listen, I, I think uh, in, our, in our business, the cloud has been to some degree slow uh, and accelerating into the last couple of years. And I think like what we've done is we've built a framework for all of our applications to reside in the cloud so they can be scalable, integrate with other platforms very easily, other data stores, and really still providing kind of core call management, notification, messaging that can still sit behind the firewall. So we, in our case, there's a, there's a nice mix of sort of behind the firewall secure uh, um, notification and call management services mixed with a cloud framework that provides a scalability and flexibility for customers. So we think cloud is an enabler in this market, but again, in our world it comes back to what, in, what workflows are you impacting, what difference are you making for customers and their customers, and really that's all about the applications you're deploying in those environments. You know, it's interesting, the old way in that, you know, going back to the old client server days of the computer industry, lock-in meant vertical stacks, right. okay? Right. Now with open source, you still need pre-packaged, purpose-built solutions because there's differentiation that are unique. The general purpose platforms are going away. That's right. That's pretty clear, we see that. I think everyone will generally agree. So talk about that, what you guys do, because this is a nuance in the business right now. 
it's okay to be vertical because there's unique work streams and workflows yeah, that's right. that are unique, say retail versus say oil and gas. And if you don't own the stack, you have a hard time really impacting those workflows. So in our case, the stack is really from call management on up, but also customer engagement on down. And so when we think about the full stack, we even add customer engagement to that. Because again, if you're trying to help a retailer do a better job connecting with their customers through mobile devices and WebRTC on, on a website, um, you need to be tied down into their business, talking to marketing, talking to their P&L owners, talking to IT, developing solutions specific for retailer that's going to drive you know, whatever outcome they're looking for. And so when we think about full stack, it even goes beyond technology. It's really the engagement model too. If you think about the old way of the stack, vertical stack, you have systems of record, the database, yeah. systems of engagement, the interaction data, and then this new era of predictive analytics, call it cognitive, IBM calls it cognitive, whatever you want to call it, that's where the action's happening. But also, horizontally, there's the same model going on. If you have a call center application where you have live chat, for instance, or something cool that's unique to the work stream, it's got to go into another database in another stack. That's right. So there's a horizontal, vertical interplay here. Talk about that nuance. And, well, you know, and it goes beyond that as well, right? It's not just the call center, it's also across users across an organization. So again, if you think about functionality in the call center to interact with customers, to screen share, to uh, take multimedia types of interactions coming in, why can't we deploy that down to the workflow force on the floor of a retailer that is trying to connect with their customer, with the personal shopper and their customer? And so again, to your point, we're seeing these different tools going across organizations, tapping into data stores, you know, being really deployed with these end user applications that connect back to the organization that's trying to create this unique customer experience. So you'd agree silos are a bad word these days? I think, I think silos are a bad word, except I will tell you that, again, back to the engagement model, you know, silos in the sense of really understanding a, a vertical market down to its its real detail is important for our business. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't create a silo, but it creates expertise in the business. And that expertise also then does get spread across the organization and work for other vertical markets. Well, that's a good point. And this highlights like our conversation. A little bit nuanced here, but we'll kind of get into it, is that you can have prepackaged vertical integration, purpose-built that's unique and proprietary open, but you have to work with other systems. That's not end-to-end -end vertical. Is that kind of the, the, the cutoff line between, because you want to provide differentiation because right. retail is different than another, another That's right. application. That's right, and again, yeah, so listen, I, I think um, you know, open APIs, integration with other platforms, that is, you, know, you have to be able to do that. You need that flexibility. You cannot let customers in with a full stack proprietary solution. That is, that is not going to happen. Um, so that, that is part of the solution today. And, but again, we flip that around and so that gives you more flexibility in how you can sell, how you can create value for customers, how you can be flexible to meet their needs, and frankly, how you can work within their existing ecosystem, because there is an existing ecosystem in there. What's the number one thing you hear from your customers? I mean, what's the pattern that you see in terms of like the architect out there? There are people sitting there out there. I mean, Gardner doesn't do Magic Quadrant for this new integrated stack, I mean, a new integrated horizontal. And there's no, the analysts are all kind of stuck in their silos. But at the end of the day, there's a person sitting out there scratching their head saying, I got to put an architect together for the next year to one to five years. And it's a DevOps meets app, and I got to have some cool vertically optimized work streams, sometimes automated using data. This is a challenge. What are you hearing from, in terms of those target customers out in the trenches? What's the pattern? What's the number one conversation you're hearing? Well, listen, I think overarching, if you want to really dumb it, dumb it down, there is this move to the cloud, or replatforming to the cloud, right? And everyone wants to do that securely, scalably, flexibly. And you got to flip it around and see what are the needs of the business, too. And again, this is where we think we make a big difference because if, if IT is, is the, if the, if the customer is the business ultimately, the business is living in a world of workflows and efficiencies and P&L management. And so can, how can those technologies, at the end of the day, improve you know, those line items in their P&L and, and still meet the needs of IT from security, scalability, and cloud perspective. So putting all that together is really the biggest challenge. And the customers care about their business, not necessarily the vendor's technology. Absolutely, this is, not about, this is not about us. This is about the customer, absolutely. And that's, that's a key, key point here. All right, if you talk about your uh, company update, you mentioned uh, you're growing. Yeah. What's employee count? You guys uh, recently announced you're doing a direct sales force. Yeah, Give yeah. us some uh, so data on the company. The last couple years, you know, we started our business as a channel-based business. In the last two, three years, we've gone direct with our business. Uh, we bought a few companies along the way. We're about 250 employees. Uh, we've got a sales force across North America. We're really only in North America today. Uh, sales and service force across North America. And as I mentioned before, um, you know, we are focused on vertical markets. So retail's nearly half our business. Auto dealers, healthcare hospitality, these are vertical. Real vertical. businesses. Real businesses, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and absolutely. And, and we're not just providing a horizontal solution, we're going deep, two inches off the ground in these markets to make a difference. Two inches off the ground, you were referring to getting deep with the customer, absolutely. getting your hands dirty, getting down and dirty, absolutely. understanding their workflows, 
Is there automation involved? Do you guys have specialized software? What Give us that cut. So, so it starts with understanding the customer's needs, and then we've obviously got um, you know, the platform, uh, the APIs, the ability to customize the professional services team, and then obviously to the best of our ability, we're productizing that as much as we can so we can wash and repeat for the next customer. All right, final question. What's the big aha moment right now in this evolving and changing UC, unified communications world? Well, in our view, it's workflows, workflows, workflows. Okay, you heard it here. <laughs> this is theCUBE on the ground here at uh, Enterprise Connect 2016. I'm John Furrier, thanks for, thanks for watching.